You may have heard people claim that the voice is legally risky. Untested and risk-ridden Canberra Voice model. The risks that um, this referendum, that the voice to parliament poses. Anyone making this claim is choosing to ignore the overwhelming majority of legal opinion, including the advice of the Solicitor General. The formal advice from the Solicitor General was clear and unambiguous. <laughs> The Solicitor General said that the proposed constitutional amendment would not pose any threat to Australia's system of representative and responsible government. The Voice's function of making representations will not fetter or impede the exercise of the existing powers of the Parliament. The constitutional amendment would not prevent the Parliament from legislating until it received a representation from the Voice. It was the Solicitor General's legal opinion that the proposed constitutional amendment was not just compatible with the system of representative and responsible government prescribed by the Constitution, but an enhancement of that system. If you need more, in the past couple of days, 71 constitutional and law teachers have signed an open letter about the voice to Parliament, not to advocate for one side or the other, but to clarify some of the issues that seem to be causing confusion about the proposed constitutional change, to help Australians sift through what they are reading and hearing, and to assist them in making an informed choice at the upcoming referendum. In the open letter, they conclude that the vast majority of expert legal opinion agrees that this amendment is not constitutionally risky. Sure, you'll be able to find a legal person here or there pushing the no case. You just need to understand that they are by far in the minority, like Louise here. Louise has written a few articles and appeared on radio and TV quite a bit, and she's clearly got some strong opinions. Oh, sorry, did I forget to mention, Louise is married to Angus Taylor who you may remember as the Liberal Party politician prone to finding himself in hot water, and earlier this year being singled out as one of the opposition MPs, accused of misquoting former High Court judges on The Voice. Great move. Well done, Angus. Here's a fun fact. Louise actually ran Angus Taylor's election campaign. To be fair though, publications like the Financial Review also seem to have forgotten to mention that Louise is married to Angus Taylor. Wonder why? Given that the functions of the voice can be changed via the very normal, very transparent and very boring legislative process we have in this country, I'm just not sure how anyone could argue that this is a risky proposition.